We'll have three for three. Three, for three. Did you get yesterday and the day before? <laughs> no. Do I own any other clothes? <laughs> three for three with O'Hare and Lifestyle clothing. <laughs> Because it's like uh, it's like what the Mormons wear, the undergarments. I got my Mike O'Hearn shirt underneath when I step in here. <laughs> so uh, it's cool that the legit guys can see something. And without talking to me about it and without talking to you about it, connect to it. And so you see a Division One athlete, um, all uh, conference wrestler, black belt in Taekwondo, but he's an actor. But he saw you and me working together, yeah. and he goes, need that. Yeah. And so it was just, it, it's cool when some things are not said, but the elite yeah. get it. Yeah. Where, I train a lot of people and stuff, and I say, you should go see this individual, this individual, and they go, no, I, I'm, I, uh, uh. Yeah. I'm like, that's why. That's why you're mediocre. That's why you're average. That's why you're not stepping it up. Where people like James Harris doesn't even live close to here. Yeah. Flies in every month. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I had to stop taking it personal many years ago when a client from West Hollywood would be like, oh, that's so far. And I'm like, okay, no problem. You, what you see as far as value is what you see. That doesn't mean other people do not see that. And that's something like, you know, I just kind of just remain humble and a lot of people like expect sometimes to get in immediately and then they find out I'm like booking July and have 70 people and then all of a sudden it's like, so it's really interesting uh, when people don't see the value, it's like totally cool. You know what I mean? Like I have no idea what what you see within your body or, or your recovery or what if there is even a plan. And that's okay, it's not for me to judge, but there's others that take this very seriously, obviously like you and the elite. Serious. Recovery. Life. You know? I hope they're not thinking it's this. Yeah, well, Because right? this is irrelevant right? to what you do. Why wouldn't you do everything in life serious? You know what I mean? and get the most out of everything. But some of us work that way, some of us don't. I hope you guys are not confused. I hope you guys are not thinking that I'm saying this because of the fact that you want to get in shape and be healthy. I'm saying just life, you get older, you slow down, you start breaking down. That's what I'm talking about. If you think I, I'm saying go to see Jimmy because you can work out better, no. that's, that's, we're not even on the same plane of talking then. Longevity. And, and I had a friend reach out this morning, he goes, I feel old. He goes, and then he goes, I take it back. I don't feel old. And I messaged him, he goes, my body feels kind of old today. And I said to him, I'm going to hire an apprentice and I'm going to hire that person to work on me every week. That's my future freaking goal. So I can just continue to feel amazing by just getting these little tune-ups. You know, and for someone that works out as hard as you do and just lives life to the fullest, why would you not feel good, right? Because people don't understand how good they could feel as well, you know? And everyone hides behind that wall of excuses. Oh, well, no, if I did this and this, then I, then I wouldn't be able to hide behind my own bullshit. I like that. I'll finish it here, but I love the one where they go, hey, I look good for 30. Hey, I look good for 40. I'm, I look good for a 40-year-old. What are you comparing yourself to society and a 40 year old says, Ooh, that's ugly. You know, <laughs> as far as what society is 25 year olds look like now. Scary. Yeah, that's like, holy cow. Sorry, guys. If that uh, offends you, good.